Fala pessoal, tudo bem? Welcome to Uncle Brazil, my name is Rodrigo and today we are going to learn Portuguese with Tinder. I have a student from France and in October he's coming to live in Brazil and then he decided to download the app Tinder and started to talk with Brazilian girls to practice. And it's very funny because in our classes he brings all the questions about expressions, words, slang, and I decided to gather all these questions in this video for you, okay? This content is for men and women because you're going to find these expressions everywhere, okay? But first of all, uh, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and after the video, leave your thumbs up if you like. Now, vamos nessa! The first question is, eu tô bem. In English, it would be, I am fine. But his question was about, about the verb, tô. Tô, it's an abbreviation of the verb, estou. Uh, from the verb, estar. In English, it would be the verb, to be. And this is how the Brazilian say this verb. Eu tô bem, instead of, eu estou bem. Você... Tá bem, instead of você está bem. It's a very native way of saying this verb. Okay? Number two. Why? Moço. I had. And these are very interesting expressions. Okay? And it has everything to do with a video that I made about five reasons to learn a language with Tinder. You can find the link here in the, video in the video description. And in this video, I say how important it is when you are talking with a native. You learn new expressions that you won't learn in books, for example. Okay? And this is a perfect example for that. Why, moço, I had. Probably, probably, my student was speaking with a girl from a, 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 a region in Brazil called Minas Gerais, Minas Gerais, okay? And there, they use this kind of expression, okay? Why? Why? It's a, an interjection, okay? Like, whoa, damn, I'm going there, man, I'm going there, whoa, <laughs> eu vou lá, why? I'm here, damn, I'm here, whoa, eu tô aqui, why? <laughs> It's funny, okay? Moço. Moço. It's how they say, for example, brother, dude. He Hello, dude. E aí, moço? That's how they say. I had. I had. It's like, go away. I had that here. Go away. I won't, I won't leave this place. Eu não vou arredar o pé daqui. So, very, very local expressions that it's possible, it's only possible to know when you talk with a person from there, okay? For example, here in Rio de Janeiro, we don't talk like that. Number three, bem apessoado. Bem apessoado, he was probably talking with a girl, a very polite girl, you know, a very intelligent, because bem apessoado, it's a fancy way to say that someone is, is beautiful. Você é bem apessoado. Você é bonito. You are beautiful. Four. Mano. Mano. Again, again, an expression. A very native expression, specific from a, a place in Brazil called São Paulo. Mano. It's the same as dude, dude, brother. I'm going there, dude. Eu vou lá, mano. I'm here, dude. Eu tô aqui, mano. Okay? This is how they say this expression there. Number five. Deixa rolar. Deixa rolar. It's a more Brazilian expression that you hear in many different places. Okay? Let it flow. Let it go. Don't worry. Uh, things are going to happen. Okay? Deixa rolar. Deixa rolar. Number six, safada. I don't know, I don't know what was the context, okay? But safada is, is a naughty girl, 
a naughty girl, ok? Number seven. Quero algo sério. Quero algo sério. When you read that in the profile, in the conversation, you can be sure that the person is talking about a, a, a relationship. Uh, she wants a boyfriend or a man wants a girlfriend. A serious relationship. Uh, the person doesn't want only to hang out uh, once or twice. He, uh, the person wants a relationship. Okay? Quero algo sério. Number eight. O pai tá on. O pai tá on. It's a very funny expression. It's a new one, actually. And the translation would be the father is online. O pai tá on. People say that when they are partying, drinking, having fun. O pai tá on. And uh, it's very usual to, to see this expression in, in, the, in Instagram. In the stories, you know, people are partying. And then they say, o pai tá on. It's a very funny one. Number nine. Estou sem saco. It's a, it's a, it's a very common <laughs> expression here. And uh, it means I'm not in the mood. Let's go to let's go to the cinema. Oh, I'm not in the mood. Vamos no cinema? Ah, não, tô sem saco. Estou sem saco. Tô sem saco. Remember about the, the abbreviation? Tô sem saco. People say that as well. Eu não quero estudar hoje. I don't want to study today. I'm not in the mood. Eu não quero estudar hoje. Tô sem saco. Ok? Number 10. Baixinho. Baixinho. Baixinho comes from baixo, which is short. Short. A short person. Ok? It's a diminutive form uh, of the word baixo. Ok? To help you more with this subject, I wrote an article about how to say the diminutive in Portuguese. There are different, different ways. And here, in these articles, uh, in this article, you are going to find uh, all these explanations, okay? I'm pretty sure that it will help you. É isso, pessoal. Thanks for watching. I hope it helped you. Download Tinder and start to learn Portuguese, okay? See you in the next video. Valeu!